This is Rick and Morty. You ever wonder what it was like to do a uh, TV a cartoon? Let's do it. I'll show you right now. I don't know how we make a cartoon. You want to see John Goodman standing in front of a microphone with Billy Crystal singing? It's fucking, who cares? I'm sorry that we don't have that footage, but we do have some behind the scenes footage. It's a small intestine, isn't it? It's a small, small intestine. It's a small, small intestine. It's a small intestine, isn't it? I don't know what to do with this DVD behind the scenes segment. I know we have time for it on the DVD and the Blu-ray disc. I know that we're making it, we're shooting it right now. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to make this about. I haven't seen it. I'm barely in it. I was working while we were doing it so that there could be a second season DVD with or without special fucking features. All right, here we go. Ready when you guys are. What did you think? Dad, what did you think about the recent report published by the Pluto Science Reader linking Pluto quakes, sinkholes, and surface shrinkage to deep core plutonium drilling? What the hell? Oh my god, what, 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 what is he doing? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Go with the last one. Cha-ching. Where's my money? Just kidding. For the last five years, I've been the guy that's been trying to subvert a normal sitcom. Now I get to just be the guy that tries to make things normal. And then they go to like the planet of the gerbils, and the gerbils live in humans' butts. You know what I mean? Like, like that's their society. It's like there's a bunch of humans walking around that are like their homes. Like, you know? The writing process on Rick and Morty is very unstructured. You guys have lives? They do? Well, like, they go to work and stuff? Yeah, I mean, the humans have sort of like normal lives that are very boring. And it's like the real people running things with the gerbils. So, you're, the so what you're saying is it's actually just a different version of Earth, only where gerbils live in people's butts. Right. Sometimes from a distance, it would look like a bunch of guys just fucking around. Learn English. Oh, okay. Computer. 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 Fucking retard. What about this? I'm interviewing Rick and Morty crew people. My name is Pete Michaels. I am the supervising director, which means I uh, supervise the directors and the storyboards and the animation as it comes in from uh, overseas. <laughs> what episodes did you work on? Almost all of them. Or, no, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Any interesting stories from those episodes? The pilot. Uh why? There's a whole other audio record of Rick and Morty saying Rick and Morty far more frequently. Adult Swim counted how many times Rick and Morty said each other's names and forced Justin to scale back tremendously. Here's how I know Rick and Morty gets made. I wake up in the morning I, at 10, get here at 11. We fuck around, talk about TV until noon. Hopefully Justin comes in and, and, and goes like, I'm Mr. Jiggle Nuts. Oh, look at me, I'm Mr. Jiggle Nuts. And we all start laughing and then we sit around and go like, okay, what, what, what would Mr. Jiggle Nuts do? Uh, why, how, how does Mr. Jiggle Nuts feel? Hey Morty, can you hear me? Yeah, Rick, I can hear you. All right, I'm putting you into his neck right now. Oh shit, Rick, this is crazy. What are all these blue things in here? There's no, no time to worry about the blue things, Morty. We gotta get to Ruben's brain immediately. Get to his brain, and, and, and we'll we'll go from there. Okay, so at that point, what is Rick's what is Rick's real plan? I stick to the writers' room. Justin comes in and out of it because he's dealing with the pole enchilada. I guess the attempt is to save Ruben's life because he's the host of these blue midgets. Right. But if he can't save his life, Plan B is get, the get some of those fucking midgets so he can salvage the strikes. Right. Our writer's room is on the second floor of a building in Burbank. It's a lighthearted environment with toys and just joy and happiness. The writer's room is simultaneously the most fun place in the world and also uh, sometimes one of the most miserable places. It's got movie posters, it's got couches, it's got whiteboards where you can draw boobies. If you're 16 and you dream about working on a TV show, especially an animated comedy, this is the kind of room that you picture. In the writer's room, I had some binoculars 
and uh, I was using him to look at people as they walked around down, down below on the street. I'd stand right in the window with just staring as people walked towards us. And I did that for six months before I realized that <clears throat> you could see right into the writer's room as clear as day. I don't know if it's illegal what, what, what he's doing, but it's definitely disturbing and ethically wrong. What prepared you for Rick and Morty? I've worked with Justin for eight years. Justin was my first job in LA, so I've always worked with Justin. I've always known his sensibilities. I think all my years on Family Guy and Simpsons. What was the most challenging moment for you on the show? It was a challenge to really make sure that, that I was doing justice to the scripts and making sure that the jokes landed where they needed to be. Having a baby. <laughs> I had a baby right in the middle of, of the season. Do you have any fun memories working on Rick and Morty? I like all the drawings that were on the marker board. We've got those documented, don't we? In any given workday, everyone must relieve themselves at least once. And whether it's pee-pee or poo-poo, you can't just go anywhere you like. That's why you must choose one of three bathrooms here at Starburns Industries. Bathroom number one. Come on in, shall we? Now this bathroom, uh, I'd say it's medium sized. One stall, one urinal. Still not sure what the deal with these are, if these are necessary. I'm not sure. Can you get diseases by sitting on a toilet seat? Isn't that like 1960s thinking? I, I don't know. Oh, gross. You notice this, uh, I don't even know what that is right there. Bodily fluid. This is a good solid bathroom. My first choice when it comes to pee. Factor Fiction. I can bench press 200 pounds. Factor Fiction. Ryan Ridley's hands are always cold. Factor Fiction. Fact. What is this? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm supposed to make something up? Bro, yeah, it's on you. What do you mean it's on me? Fact or Are fiction. I don't understand. What do you want me to say? Do I have to look at the fucking camera? Jesus Christ. It's great. Why don't you burn more footage uh, uh, being conscious of yourself? I understand that Ryan Ridley's uh, interview footage was unusable due to his trademark uh, awkwardness, self-loathing, slash self-worship. Yeah, come on. This come is, on, dog. This is no good. Let's get serious. Amp up the energy. You're I don't know. Pretend I, like you're doing a character. It's not you. And you're talking about <laughs> the show. Go. Should I look at the camera? Everything you say to Ryan, his response is, what do you mean by that? It's very insecure. What am I supposed to talk about? Man, the fucking show, it's so fun to work on. I don't know, just make shit up. In terms of animal matter, obviously Ryan is human, but psychologically I place him near fungus because he grows where where he's allowed to. I can't, what am I, 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 don't, I don't have the energy to, to make it up, man. Come on. See, mostly useless. Every once in a while you can mine that for like a line from Jerry. My favorite employees are definitely Chip Chompers and Pizza McLeatsa. My name is Chip Chompers. <laughs> I chomp on chips. Chip Chompers is a workhorse. I, I draw for Rick and Morty, I draw characters. You wanna see one? Chip Chompers gets the job done. Eh, eh, eh. <sighs> He's not Jackson Pollock, nor is he paid to be. So what's your favorite thing to draw? Just tell me real quick. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. He needs to be told the rules, then he'll execute. Chip Chompers works best when he's receiving direct communication. Show me some skills or drawing skills. I'm gonna draw you Rick and Morty. I gotta chop my chimps first. Chomping some chimps. <laughs> As you see in episode 506, he's got, see this stuff? On his arms. He's a watch salesman! <laughs> Justin's gonna love this one. Chip Choppers puts it on the rim. Pizza McLeatsa puts it in the bucket. My name is Pizza McLeatsa. I draw background artist for Rick and Morty. 
to, to compare Chip Chompers to Pizza McLitza is would, would be sacrilege. I think the two of them work as a team. Pizza McLitza is the point man. How I do it is I draw it and then it just comes in this camera, sir. Pizza is like more of an artiste. Door. <laughs> How do you come up with all these backgrounds? First you gotta think them, then you gotta draw them. She'll show up, no shoes, but a lot of ideas. <laughs> what is it that makes you a complete piece of shit? Well, when I was little, my dad hit me. <laughs> my dad hit me. <laughs> You're the biggest fucking asshole piece of shit in this fucking office. I hope they fire you, and I hope I never have to fucking interview you again, because you're a fucking piece of shit. Describe your favorite thing! Salt. And beer. I like IPAs. <coughs> In the morning. <coughs> Before work. Tell me something scary! Most people's biggest fear is that they, um, that they, they don't know if they have a soul. And so they're afraid that when they die, they're, um, they're not gonna go, they're not gonna go anywhere, they're just gonna cease to exist. And I think that's really what scares, like, everybody the most. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Rick and Morty? <laughs> A little tiny pinchy winty. Describe your work environment. Do you think I'm pretty? Oh yeah, definitely. I've told you that. This bathroom right here is the only one that has any kind of signage, uh, which I think would probably be good on all the bathrooms. This one being the smallest, it's, a little, it's intimate, it's cozy. I don't like this bathroom because it's uh, right across from the uh, editor's station and the other writer's room. I don't know who would want to go number two in here, it's just too close to the action. It's got this little funny bit of an, an ad for Viagra with Morty taped over it. Also, an image of Morty presumably shocked at the sight of a man's penis. Oh! It's Justin Royal and the co-creator of the show and the voice of Rick and Morty. What's what a surprise! What's going on in here? I'm just giving a tour of the bathroom. Oh. Hey, now that we have you, yeah, let me ask you. Yeah. Where's your favorite place to go to the bathroom? You want me to show you? I'd love to. Come on! <laughs> Right here. I've been using the toilet like a sucker. This place is great. Alright, 192A. 192A? 192A? Have you acquired creepy specific old stuff from a mysterious antique or thrift store that fucks with you shit and fuck? Have you acquired creepy specific stuff from a mysterious antique or thrift store that gives you powers but fucks with you in a, uh, the, the fuck? I'll get it right. <laughs> Have you acquired creepy specific old stuff from a mysterious antique or thrift store that gives you powers but fucks with you and un, un for fucking fuck? Here we go. Swear to God. Have you acquired creepy specific old stuff from a mysterious antique or thrift store that gives you powers but fucks with you in unforeseeable ways? Mark that. Bring it to Curse Purge Plus. We're located on First and Main in Old Town. Wubba, lubba, dub dub. That's our slogan. Come on down. What would you do if you could drive a train? I guess tour the country. I think isn't driving a train you're just like pushing a pedal. 
What colors underwear am I wearing? I really don't know. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> I got a really good question. <laughs> Ghost stories. This place is haunted as fuck. One time, Dan and I saw a ghost up, and we were upstairs looking down, and there was a ghost. True story. This fucking place is haunted as fuck, motherfucker! Get ready to watch out, because I'm a motherfucking ghost! A ghost! Bathroom three, the granddaddy of all bathrooms here at Starburns. Hello, 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 hello. There's even an echo. Look at this, huh? Look at the space in here! This is where you want to go when you're doing a number two. It's like a walk-in closet in here. There's only one fatal flaw. The light's on a timer, therefore there's been many times that I've come in, suddenly you're, you're in the stall there and then... See that? You do not want to be in that stall when the light goes off, because... I mean, do I have to spell it out? That's it. Hey, Savan. Special effects wizard, Savannah Jarian. Knows where to poop. These people are crazy. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to add? Directing and working on this show, Rick and Morty, has been like one of the highlights of my career so far. And it's really great to like have a show that you like, you know it's funny and you just can't wait for it to air so other people can really kind of get in on the jokes that we've been sharing for like the past year or so. Basically, I'm looking forward to the next season. They set a standard for this season, so it's it's interesting to see, you know, where the next adventure will take Rick and Morty. Well, I'd just like to add, I hope everybody keeps watching and enjoys the DVDs and uh, look forward to season two. Looking forward to uh, seeing what crazy situations Rick and Morty get into. That's all you got. That's it. That's season one behind the scenes. Why don't you go? somewhere else get out of town <laughs> all right this wraps up the behind the scenes featurette 15 to 20 minutes long not sure how long it ended up i hope it was informative <clears throat> and fun i hope you're not disappointed in it i hope you weren't expecting something that it didn't provide this was for you i didn't do this for myself i don't know what you want enjoy the dvd see you guys next time too long